Hello, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on subtraction word problems. Just like any other kind of word problem, addition, multiplication, division, whatever, you gotta think about what you're reading. Okay, reading is so important for this. Okay, so we're just gonna dive right in. This is gonna piggyback off of my addition word problems lesson. If you didn't check that out yet, go ahead and find it. I'm all over YouTube. I'm blowing up in here, okay? So go check out the addition word problem uh, lesson before you move to subtraction. But let's just jump in. Why is this important? You're gonna see a lot of the same reasons that you saw in the last video. Word problems and subtraction right, are actually applicable in the real world. A lot of times when you're reading them, they're real life scenarios that you might find yourself in. So if you can solve word problems, you can use subtraction in your life. Uh, and secondly, and sadly, <laughs> this stuff's all over high stakes tests. That's why you have to learn it. You know, they want to see if you can use subtraction in the real world. So they use word problems to test you on that. Um, you know, some teachers hate it. Some teachers are okay with it. Uh, my opinion doesn't matter. But if, if you want to get through elementary school, middle school, and high school and go on to college, and you should, then you have to know how to answer subtraction word problems. So let's dive right in. <laughs> Look at these words, all right? These are a whole bunch of words where many times, notice I didn't say always, but many times if you see them uh, in a word problem, you're dealing with subtraction. And I'm just gonna quickly go over a few of them. We have difference, okay? What's the difference between these two numbers? You have to subtract. Fewer, a lot of times it's, you know, how much fewer or how many fewer, all right? But a lot of times that word fewer. How many more? How much more left? As in, oh, you know, uh, Johnny had a 100 of these things and then he gave out this many and then he gave out this many. How many does he have left? Right? That's subtraction a lot of times. Less, that kind of goes with the fewer thing. How much less does, how much less does Mr. C have than Mr. D? You know, um, you're going to deal with subtraction. Minus, needs to, remain subtract. I mean, I can give you this list of words. You can memorize this list of words. But if you don't think about the word problems that you're reading while you're reading them and you actually dive into your brain, right? And say, what did I just read there? What's the real question here? Then it doesn't matter how many words you memorize from a list. You really have to be able to comprehend and think about what you're reading before you're ever going to be able to apply math skills to it, right? You could subtract like a champion, but if you can't read a problem and go, oh, that's a subtraction problem, I can tell, then you know what, what good is it, all right? So work on your reading to improve your math. I know, it's crazy, right? But it's true. Uh, reading is so important and thinking about what you're reading is also really important. So you can go ahead and copy this list down if you want or take a screenshot or just reference this video whenever you need, but know that sometimes you're gonna be doing subtraction in word problems and words from this list aren't gonna be there. And you're gonna have to use your brain to figure that out, okay? So let's move on. We're gonna actually try this. Uh, I'm gonna give you a word problem, we're gonna solve it together. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Mr. C opened a bag of Takis. Oh, if you don't know what Takis are, pff, you were not born in the last 15 years. Mr. C opened a bag of Takis and counted them. There were 145. He gave 23 to Jordan, then he gave 43 to Deja, then he gave 55 to Sitlali. How many Takis does Mr. C have left? And there, my friends, is the word, or you can even say the combinations of words. How many do I have left? Well, that means I gave a bunch away, right? So we gotta figure out how many I gave away. Okay, so we got 145. I've identified this as a subtraction problem, right? Because I see, oh, okay, I've given a bunch away. How many do I have left? Okay, so I'm gonna have to subtract how much I gave away from my original number, which is 145. I'm gonna go minus 23, right? Five minus three is two, four minus two is two, one minus zero is one, okay? Uh, then I gave 43 to Deja, okay, 43. All right, two minus three, can't do that. That becomes a one, two becomes a 12, 12 minus three is nine, one minus four, can't do that. 11 minus four is seven, 
0 minus 0 is 0. OK, I'm going to transfer up here, 79, because i got to subtract one more number, 55. 9 minus 5 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. Boom, there's my answer. What? That was so fast. I know. Once you practice this a lot, you're going to be fast like me. OK, for now, take your time because you're, you're learning. You need to practice. Make sure you're doing it right. You look, I've, I actually had to subtract three times for this word problem. Last step is the answer. Remember, just like in addition, you want a complete sentence here. Teachers love complete sentences. It like blows their mind when you use complete sentences in math. So make sure you do. So we're going to write, Mr. C has 24 Takis. Ha oh, ha Takis. I love them. Left. And then period. Boom. Done. Next problem, right? Ready to go. I used my brain. I figured out not only am I doing subtraction, but I'm going to subtract a whole bunch of times. Sometimes you're only going to subtract a few times, but in this instance, I subtracted a whole bunch of times to finally get my answer of 24. All right, you're going to have to try this, but first let's go over what we learned. First thing that we learned, knowing how to identify subtraction in word problems is super important, all right? It's math in real life. There are certain words that when you see in word problems, you're going to know it's subtraction, but sometimes you just got to use your brain, okay? Um, sometimes you just have to think like, oh man, is this subtraction? Let me see. Let me walk through this. Let me see if I can understand what I'm reading. Uh, and, then, and then finally, you know, reading is so important in math, especially with word problems. This shift to the common core, all right? Your school is probably shifting over to the common core. There's going to be word problems all over your Common Core assessments. So make sure that you're working on your reading and understanding what you're reading, even in math. Okay? All right. I got one for you. You're going to try it. I'm not going to read it for you. You have to read it for yourself. Okay? Normally, I would read you the problem, but this is a word problem. Read it for yourself. Okay? So read this problem. See if you can come up with the answer. It's tricky. I'll, I will give you a hint. It's a tricky problem. If you can get this right, you certainly took your time to understand what you're reading. All right. Well, good luck. You're going to be exposed to tons of word problems, so you might as well start practicing now. I'll see you next time.